Hello, my loves. How are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be doing your weekly reading, and this will be for my Geminis. And this will be for the week of the 12th through the 18th of April. Hope you guys had a great week. Uh, it has been beautiful here in New York. Um, the weather has been great. Uh, in the 60s, 70s um, this week, and it has been beautiful. I am absolutely loving it. So let's get on with your reading and see what's going on with the back. Let's give these five shuffles. So there's one, two, three, going on with you guys for my Geminis. Angels, guides, and spirits. What is it Gemini needs to know for the week? Okay, so what's going on with you guys? All right, first cards are your inner cards. These are the cards that are here now or the cards that are coming in quickly. I have the money safe. This is the three of diamonds. This is, um, you may have some loss, guys, um, of your monies. Uh, the money safe is closed on your end. So you are either gonna be staying where you're at financially or you um, may be having a little bit of loss um, right now with money situations, okay? The queen of spades is the amour, okay? This is the cupid. Somebody looks at you and they take great interest and they love and long to be with you and they love to spend time with you. Six of hearts. This is the house. This is success in all of your ventures. Um, a long and a happy marriage. Um, happiness, prosperity is all coming to you. If you are not married, it predicts a marriage. This is uh, the three of clubs. This is the tree. This is the tree of life. This is a good health and a fulfillment of your highest hopes. Five of diamonds. Stay where you're at. Um, don't, uh, success is coming into you, but you need to stay where you're at. Love is coming into you, business um, success, but stay where you're at. Don't leave a job. Don't, um, don't leave your work. Don't leave your love interest um, right now because everything is going to turn around. Everything is going to come full force and it's going to look great success there. Um, the seven of diamonds, anything ill, um, ill luck, bad luck, anything like that will be null and void this week. Um, for you, everything looks good, uh, good fortune. Any evil will be nullified. Um, it can also mean a fire sign. So an Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius may be there for you. Queen of hearts, the ring. This is, um, you know, you have, a, you will meet the right person. The right person will be coming into you. Riches and a happy marriage. Um, if you are already married, um, this denotes that um, you are married to your best friend and it will be a long and a happy marriage. Four of hearts. This is the fish. This is riches through stock. So if you are not in the stock market, I suggest you put some monies into the stock market because that is where you will um, earn some money. Um, this can also mean you will be on the emotional side this week. Um, your emotions are going to be playing a toll in things. 
um, and it can also mean a water sign. So it can mean a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces are coming in to you. Your outer cards, okay? These are the cards that are out there. Um, they're sitting out there. They're waiting to come into you. I have the Queen of Clubs. This is the wine, cheerfulness. Be cheerful, be giddy, have that glass of wine, um, and just be yourself. You know, unwind, relax, and have a good time. Eight of Diamonds. Do not gamble. Um, this is a broken glass. It foretells ill luck. So gambling, lottery, uh, putting your names in um, drawings, things like that, you will not be as lucky. You have the bear. This is the king of clubs. This is success, motherly success, loving success, caring success is coming into you. Then I have the four of spades. This is uh, the eye. Uh, your friends uh, watch out for you. They look out for you. They take great interest in you. They are ones to have around and they watch out for you and make sure everything is good. If you are single, you will have a new love. This is the nine of clubs, uh, a new love. Um, and it means um, in a park setting, outdoors. You will meet this person outdoors in an outdoor-like setting. Seven of hearts. This is the stork. You're going to have a change in your residence for the better. Okay. You may be moving. Somebody may be moving in with you. Somebody may be moving out of your home or you may have some home renovations. Something to do with your home will be coming in um, and it's for the best. Ace of clubs. This is the road. Okay, you feel as if you went down a, a misadventure. You had a misadventure of going down a road. Um, you wish you would have went down another path, but the path that you're on now is the path you should be on. It is the path of learning. It is the path that you, that you need to be going down so that you can learn the things that you need to learn. Seven of spades. This is the clouds. And um, this is... Uh, Ensures a domestic happiness um, is insured because the clouds, the bright side of the clouds are facing you. So that means that uh, domestic happiness is there for you. So that is your main reading. So let's talk to universe. Is there any input that you would like to put into that reading for my Geminis, please? Universe, add to clarify for us. Two more shuffles. One more. We have the rain, we have crystals, and ancestors, okay? So stay focused on your goal. Whatever goal it is that you uh, want to achieve, keep your focus on that goal, okay? Use maybe some crystals. Um, it's talking about crystals, right? So use some crystals to maybe help you. Um, there's many crystals out there. Um, I do have a... Uh, a YouTube um, on crystals, and I believe it is under um, how to do. Um, so look for that. Um, it tells you about different crystals and what they do. Um, so I do have um, that that you guys can watch. Um, there is a lot online also that you can do with crystals. Um, there's crystals to heal. There's crystals to help you, um, you know, with prosperity and this and, you know, all that. So look for that. It's talking about the rain. Rain is all about, all about purification. So detox yourself, guys. Um, you know, get your sage out, maybe your poly santo, and sage yourself. You know, purify yourself. 
you know, get that negativity out of you. Do some meditation and, it's, you know, just get that negative um, aspects out of you. Everything is positive, you know, bring positivity into your life and not the negativity. And it's talking about generations, okay? Ancestors, look into your ancestors. Um, you know, maybe you can find something out about yourself about with your ancestors. So look into your your genealogy. Look into the generations before you and see if there's anything, you know, that might click um, of why you do things that you do or how your family was and things along that nature. Because, you know, it, it, it all comes down to, um, you know, we have a lot from our ancestry. And, um, you know, when we look at that and we see, you know, why do I act this way? Why do I do this? You know, sometimes if you look back at your genealogy or your generations from before you, you'll find out, oh, that's why I do this. Because grandma did this, you know, or this is why I like this. Grandma liked this or grandpa liked this. You know, I got a lot from my grandfather when it came to flowers, herbs, and uh, things along that nature. Um, outdoors, you know, playing in the dirt. You know, I got a lot of that from my grandfather and I see that because he loved to garden. Um, so I got a lot of that from him. So if you look into that, sometimes you can find, you know, some things out about yourself also. All right, so let's talk to uh, Spirit. Spirit, give me a card um, that my Geminis need to hear. Give me a card that Geminis need to hear for the week, please. Dearest you, we are sending you waves of love and joy as we watch you reap the rewards of your tenacity and faith. We know how long it has taken you to reach some of your goals and that you've had disappointments along the way. Right now, we suggest you take a deep breath and fill yourself up with gratitude and tune into the vibration of well-being. Temporary conditions may be trying to hypnotize you into seeing something else as your reality. But we know that happy rewards are on their way to you even now. Change is only constant, so be open to it. You will achieve your dreams and more, we promise. But more important, your happy rewards will be gathered up in the small moments, the gentle breezes, the soft kisses, and the quiet commitments. Your happiness, happiest moments will be on the journey itself, not in arriving at any destination. You are surrounded by so much love and care. Can you feel us? So you, you guys, you are, um, you're reaping the rewards, you know, from your faith, your tenacity, um, the goals that you, yeah, we all had disappointments in our life, but those goals are going to be coming. You know, yes, we've had vibrate, we've had disappointments, we've had bad things happen, but they're all temporary. You know, things are temporary um, and the happy rewards will be coming. Um, you will achieve more than you thought you would. Um, it, it, we promise, you know, spirit promises you that. And, uh, you know, rewards come from little things. You know, that, that little kiss, that breeze, that, um, you know, that quiet moment, um, that phone call maybe from a loved one. And, um, you know, Everything is going to, everything looks good. Everything looks good, guys. You're going to arrive at your destination. All right, so let's pull you guys a reflection card. A card for you to reflect on for the week. Um, <clears throat> give me a card for Geminis to reflect on for the week. What is it they need to reflect on? Give me a card. I love life. 
I love life. It is my birthright to live fully and freely. I give to life exactly what I want life to give to me. I am glad to be alive. I love life. So be happy to be alive. Be happy for those things, you know, to be able to live a life fully and freely, you know, of yourself. You know, um, just be alive, guys, um, and love life. I love life. I hope this helps you guys. Um, remember, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. So be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising readings also. I love you, and I hope you have a wonderful and an absolutely amazing week. And I will see, see you next time.